Be the change you have in your pocket. Basically useless. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thank you to Juicy Jesse, the Juice Man Jesse, <laughs> for that catchphrase submission. Thank you so much, Juicy Jesse, the Juice Man Jesse. And uh, uh, people are constantly, by the way, asking me, where do I send my catchphrase submissions? I don't know. Um, where do you send your plug songs? I don't know. Uh, if you can't figure it out, you don't get heard on this show. Uh, but speaking of being heard on this show, we have a great one today. My name is Scott Ackerman, by the way. Uh, and these guests coming up are going to be heard on this show and felt in your heart. Uh, coming up a little later, we have a... Uh, uh, I, I don't quite know how to describe this guy, but uh, he works in someone's store. I know that. Uh, we also have a chef, a celebrity chef. That's exciting, uh, amongst other uh, uh, wonderful things going to happen on this show. But first, why don't we just get right to him? He has been on this show once, I believe, in Boston. Uh, he was the guest of honor in Boston uh, because he is from that area. He is, you know him, not only as the co-host, you consider yourself a host or a co-host? Uh, the only host. The only host, okay, of Doughboys, uh, adjacent to Nick Weiger, who I guess is co-host and your host. Mm -hmm. Sub-host. Uh, uh, Sub-host, yes. <laughs> You're the Dom host, he's yeah. the sub-host. Uh, but he is in a new movie, which is uh, just came out on Friday, which people can stream on Amazon currently, called The Tomorrow War, starring Chris Pratt, of all people. Welcome back to the show. Quincy's own Mike Mitchell. Thank you for having me. And I, I got to say, when you when you had me on that stage that time, it was because your you, family was there. My family was there, <laughs> and the Birthday Boy show like was a disaster, it's like a spectacular <laughs> disaster where like no tech work. Oh, was that the one in Boston where it, nothing worked? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. And then and then so I was like, and your parents were there, and yeah. I said, you know what, come my, out on stage and I'll interview you. My, Is that what it was? Yes, my family was booing me, and so you were like, we need to turn this around. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nightmare. So you really threw. So me then they oh. booed me. <laughs> then they booed you. We they established. Yeah, we that was one of our like one it. of our rare afternoon shows. And then didn't you also uh, like all of you guys stayed up at the SNL party the night before, like drinking? And then you that's right. You never went to sleep, and you finally caught the train at like eight a.m. or something. Hanford nearly messed. Mike Hanford nearly he messed, messed himself. He, he nearly messed himself. <laughs> he was so scared that we were late that he nearly oh messed himself. Oh my goodness, <laughs> we might be late. But yeah, that was a rare matinee show, and mm -hmm. your your parents. Uh, uh, got tickets for that one for some reason. I think, think I knocked it out of the park. I think it was uh, one of the highest rated comedy bang bang shows of all time. Truly, I truly correctly. was. I remember having a good time there. Uh, but welcome back to the show. And then you, you also, people would know you, you were on the comedy bang bang TV show mm -hmm. as uh, I guess Mitch the uh, intern. I or? was this guy who just, <laughs> I stole in from cartoons, the guy who's dumb. <laughs> is that, now is that an exaggeration of your Quincy accent or is that actually, you doing a New York accent? The way I'm talking right now is a character and that that is actually my real voice. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, <laughs> um, now, Mike, you're uh, you're in. Uh, should I call you Mitch or Mike? It's I normally you call, call Mitch. you Mitch, but I don't know what what uh, like your professional name is now that you're a big mm. movie star. Hmm. Uh, still Mitch. <laughs> still Mitch. Okay, Mitch, we, you're in this big movie, The Tomorrow War. Mm -hmm. I talked to you probably the last Doughboys at Marie Calendar's. Yes, I, I talked to you before you shot it. Mm -hmm. Uh, it sounded really exciting. Tell people over pie. Over pie. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Three point one four. Uh, and we t tell people what it is because I mean I'm sure. Look, it's a big, huge Chris Pratt movie, but I'm yeah. sure people know what it is. But tell the uninitiated exactly what this movie is. It's a throwback sci-fi adventure movie, like Independence Day, where a group of soldiers from the future travel 30 years to the past, and they say aliens are they're eating us, they're they're fucking us up. They they're, travel back to the past, and they say aliens are eating us, they're fucking us up. They, those that's, are the, those are their first words. I don't know if that's those Who are the talk to the president or <laughs> They go. They travel back in time. They talk to the president. Um, <laughs> Aliens are eating us, fucking us up. Which say is, no more. <laughs> it's Donald Trump. He, in the movie, he has a second term. We didn't, oh, okay. We were just predicting, and then Boy, uh, this really is a fantasy. 
<laughs> and they say aliens are eating us. They're fucking us up. And uh, we, you guys got to help us. The people from the past. Basically, so, let me let me see if I can explain this a little better. Mm-hmm. So in the future. Aliens have come over and taken over the world. Aliens have, yes. And it also gets into like spoiler territory, but, okay. but, 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 uh, aliens, aliens are there and they aliens take, are there. Mm-hmm, and, over and the so, and so soldiers from the future come back and say, let's fight them in the past in order to prevent it from Soldiers ever from the pu- future come to the pre- like present to our day presence, and yes. say, we're going to take you from this present day to the future. Oh, to the future. And to fight the aliens in the future. This doesn't make any sense. I'm out. I, for this reason, I'm out. <laughs> I mean, unless, a lot of my Quincy friends are like, the time travel logic Unless, don't Devin, make do sense. you want to go 60 like, 40 with fuck? me on this? I don't know. <laughs> um, for 10% of the company, I don't know. I play the a, a, a fat soldier named Cowan. Now, did you have to wear an even fatter suit, or what? How did this? I wore a slimming vest uh, <laughs> for the role. <laughs> um, so there was, a, there was a lot of there was a lot of running. It's funny because I was one of the only people that didn't get hurt. Every it's truly every right. person got hurt, and now, the director was like, "I can't believe, like, I can't believe you didn't get hurt." Like, he doesn't sound like that <laughs> what an at idiot. all. Idiot. <laughs> um, uh, part of the the concept of this movie is it's regular people fighting aliens, right? So. Yeah. You're like a regular person. It's Mary Lynn Rice Cub, mm-hmm. friend of the show. Yes, other Hilarious. people like that. Sam yeah. Richardson is uh, is is someone from the present gets drafted to the future, and he's hilarious in it. And uh, and I'm there as well. I'm 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 like a second tier comic relief, which is that's pretty in good a movie role like that. Me. That's great. Yeah, yeah. No, it was like uh, yeah. I'm like kind of like uh, the annoying guy that's that's there. And amazing. And, and uh, yeah, I, 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 and I'm. Sh- I do, I do, uh, my character does very well, as you can tell in the movie. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What are you The big about? fat loser guy. He's, he, when it's in a monster movie, he's, he, you know, oh, he's going to you know be, he's oh, going to make it all the you way You know he's going to be at the end <laughs> yeah, with <he's>, Pratt. Yeah. <laughs> Just him and Pratt <laughs> hugging at the end. We did it. <laughs> High-fiving each other. We're the only two that made it. Um, now I, I did read an article about mm-hmm. you where, uh, you had to do a very like specialty, like machine gun shot or something like that. I shot a gun. Yeah, I shot a gun for the uh, for for the, the really the first time ever. I was shooting a, a, an AR-15. Uh, mm. A lot of people said I looked like a capitalist insurrectionist. Uh, <laughs> you just trotted over there I, in your off hours. <laughs> every and when a photo went up, that's what everyone was saying. And <laughs> it's true that I was also at the Capitol that day. Oh, but. sure. And it's yeah. Of course, you had an issue with what <laughs> is going on in our country. I was there to see what was going on. And and uh, yeah, I shot a, I shot a gun outside uh so th- there was like a f- like a firefighter there and a cop there and they were like here fire were the they gun. friends and they were they were great friends actually oh wow that's yeah. so amazing they, I, I i always think those types of people would be friends they so had their arms around each other's shoulders it was really? very yeah it was very intimate um and so they said <laughs> fire the gun make sure you're like not we want to see if you're not like a fool but we went through a, a full week so of, before the cameras were even rolling they the wanted you to rolling. fire the gun to make sure you were not a fool they they wanted to, yes they they wanted they, they, they there were other tests to see if I was a fool too, but they were wanting oh, me really? to like, like cognitive test, yeah. <laughs> IQ test. I, I failed most of Basically, them. Basically, like you, you took your SATs again, from what I heard. Yes, and I did not. I did not. You got a seven thirty total. <laughs> I got a 7.30, which can get you into a college. Look, but I mean, that's a great reservation time for a restaurant, but for the SATs? Tell me about it. I couldn't get that tonight. 8.45. Oh, oh my I'm so sorry. Sister. Yeah, by then, it's like you're halfway in bed. I know. It's terrible. Um, we had the premiere. We went to the premiere last night. I'll, I'll get into that in a second. Sure. But, uh, but um, or maybe not. I'll but talk I- to you about it. I'm going to write a little note right here. Ask about premiere. <laughs> okay. Not the magazine. Okay, good. Got it. We could talk about that, too. But, but oh, so good. Okay. Libby Gelman Waxner? <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorites. Um, so I, I, I shot the gun, and then they they were like, before before I even did anything, they were like, shoot the gun to make sure that the sound doesn't scare you, basically. Uh, <laughs> and so I shot how the- many did they say? Like, what percentage of people basically are like, nope, scared him too much. <laughs> I, I <laughs> he think get to I, shoot the gun. I think it isn't. I think they they trained a bunch of us, and they were like, so because they're drafting ordinary people, they were like 
they're 70 year olds and stuff. And and so we were doing tra- gun training. We did it for a full week with the Navy SEAL. Did you have to do a uh, boot camp as well or just gun training? It was basically it, the first day was basically boot camp. And they told us to dress comfortably. And then it, it was like a full. Were you in camp. like a Hawaiian shirt? <laughs> I mean, basically, <laughs> yes. <Muda> <laughs> I, I, I was I, this is comfortable to me. And and, and I, that I was I was I was dressed down. And I was and then they 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 made us run like all day that day. Oof. And I remember I was like, I'm going to throw up. And I looked over and there was was like a seven year old woman and she was doing fine and I was like fuck I can't throw up before this old woman <laughs> oh. does and I, I, I'll, I'll feel bad did she ever throw up and you got to throw up I I, I, I made her throw up I punched her in the stomach pretty <laughs> okay, hard <good. laughs> she's no longer in the movie she's no longer in the movie she dropped out <laughs> So they so they put this gun in your hand to see mm-hmm. if it scares you, to see if the noise scares you. I shot it, and then they, I went upstairs, and the director was like, all right, so you're going to do this you and that. You have to go upstairs get... after doing that? I, I would think the director would come down to you, but you, they make you go upstairs. They took me outside just to shoot it, and then they brought me upstairs into an office building. So I was in a hallway in an office building, and I okay. hear a noise in the ceiling. It got cut from the movie, but but not all of my shooting got cut, but this shooting oh, got cut. So, oh, I see. So you they bring you upstairs to shoot the gun. They brought me upstairs to oh, shoot the gun. Okay. It was in a hallway, and they were like, you can't. Pat, you can't pass your muzzle across anyone's face because even though they're blanks, they can like yeah. still blow someone's <laughs> face off, basically. And face a guy, oh, face, <laughs> right? Got it. They brought in. Travolta and, <laughs> and Nick Cage, Cage to tell yeah, us this. <laughs> Look, we're only going to say two words in this whole thing. The, the drill instructor is going to take over most of this. It feels like a waste. You're going to applaud money. when we say it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they were and they were and they, and they demonstrated. They took a bottle of water uh, and they the, uh, and they put it in front of the blank and they shot it and the bottle exploded. Right. And they're like, that's if you get it. And so so they were like, you can't crush your muzzle across someone's face. And then the the tech guys, like the pyro guys, were like, you have a, a second and a half to go like back and forth to. To have your gun go back and forth in the ceiling to follow the squib so it looks Mitch real. Mitch is pointing it upwards oh, yes, towards yes. the ceiling. A person who has a podcast is pointing to the <laughs> ceiling. And then uh, and, and he was like, so you, it's, you have like a second and a half where you have to follow because the squibs. Because the squibs are basically coming from above you and yes. you need to follow the same pattern and in order to, to make it look realistic. Yeah, and you have to do it within a second and a half. And right. so there was no like demonstration and they're like, and if you don't do it right, we have to like reset and it takes like 45 minutes to reset. Ooh. And then so like you can't cross anyone's face and we're in a hallway. Don't, a, don't kill anyone. B, yes. it'll take us 45 minutes to reset if you do anything else. Yes, and so I was like, okay. well, this is awful. And then I did it, and I was so sure I would do everything wrong, and I did it, and like, it was the only time in my life where people cheered for me. People were like, <laughs> yay! They, they cheered for me, and no one said I did good acting, but they said <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> they were happy that he I just... didn't kill anyone! Yay! <laughs> they were happy that my that the, uh, the I followed the squibs. That was wow. all it is. And so. that, but that is not in the movie. It's not. No, it's not in the movie. Yeah, too bad. So yeah, nice long anecdote. Uh, you can't see it ever. <laughs> I have a note here. It says, "Ask about premiere." <laughs> I was at the premiere last night with my mom and sister. Uh, and that, that, that's we just we walked the red carpet. And they, we watched and it. They, in the stadium. they came out uh, from uh, mm-hmm. the Quincy area. To, yeah. To, my- uh, yeah, to, they came out from Quincy to to be my dates. Right. Aww. I know what you freaks are thinking. I didn't get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying. Um, but, you uh, freak. But we have a lot of freaks. Too many freaks, I think, who listen to this show. So I'm glad that you clarified. Continue. Um, my mom and sister are sleeping in my bed, and I got the couch. Oh. Uh, that sucks. Yeah. Um, but they're very excited. They're very excited to be there. And there but was, that's, that's a, a, such a nice time when you can invite uh, your loved ones to something that that is such a huge deal. Not everyone gets to do something like that and have a big movie with like mm-hmm. a major movie star and have like a, a you know I mean a lot of us get to be in movie like I was in Gold Member but I don't say any lines you just <laughs> seem you're looking at my ass the entire time but like you have a substantial part and that doesn't happen for everyone so it's yeah. a big deal and might probably never again so I was very happy to have them there and uh, and to be there and to celebrate it and my mom went up and talked to J.K. Simmons and and Wesley Snipes was there I thought you were going to say J.K. Rowling that notorious <laughs> turf <laughs> she would never my mom would never talk okay, to thank and you. you know what speaking of which uh, on this she wasn't even invited to the premiere really nope okay good and bill cosby wasn't there he got out of jail yesterday but he did not he, attend he didn't the just premiere. swing on by it would be so weird if he had introduced the movie <laughs> like, straight oh god 
He was not there, though. I made, there. I made sure of it. That was that you was... said Wesley Snipes was there. Mm-hmm. though. Um, he was there. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I was about to the Amazon photo person was like, hey, Mike, get a photo with Wesley Snipes. And then another uh, more famous actor came over and they took a photo together instead of Aww. me. But I was still in the background when that happened. So I'm in I'm oh, in good. the photo. OK, that's great. But it was it was very it was it was it was a great night. Uh, and I hope people enjoy the movie. It's a very I hope so. Well, by mm-hmm. at this as a press time, mm-hmm. they have not sent me the movie. It has not come out yet. Well, that's fucked up. Um, well, I mean, you're the only person I'm talking to, so you would have handled it if that were a possibility. <laughs> but uh, but so I have not I'm seen it. I'm furious at my people right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when this uh, episode drops, it mm-hmm. will be out. It'll have been out for approximately three days or so. Uh, and it, it was it was going to be in theaters at one time. Yes. But then everything got fucked up. Well, here's and- news. Everyone in this room... Uh, who and right now it's just me and you, of course. Of course, but yes. everyone in so this room. Me. I was going to try to rent out a theater and watch it in the theater, oh. and, and I was going to invite everyone in this room, which is you and I. And then what happened? Uh, I'm just very late on it. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've messaged theaters and they haven't they haven't re- they haven't returned my call. So uh, yeah, I understand. But that, that would have been fun to do. But yeah, uh, I'm still I'm still trying to do. It. I'm still trying wait, to. Wait, if you get a week. copy of it, I could. Uh, we'll talk after. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Um, well, the Tomorrow War is out. Anything regarding Doughboys you want to talk about? Catch us up on yeah, I think the Good still, Morning America thing. That kind of came out. That's come and gone. We're come still gone. doing episodes. Uh, mm-hmm. We're ready to go back on the on the. We were doing a Tomorrow War month. We and we had uh, we had uh, Sam Richardson and Pratt on last week. Oh wow! And, uh, and now you're are you good buddies with Pratt now because you were on uh, uh, Parks and Recreation with him? Mm, we're mostly Jim buddies. Uh, oh okay, Jim Belushi buddies. <laughs> Jim Belushi buddies. <laughs> you just get to. Together, We're both big fans. To Jim. We think that he's the funnier Belushi, and uh, we bond <laughs> over it. And uh, we, uh, no, I, I, speaking I, of Bond, do you think you'll get to be the next Bond? I think now that I've shot a gun, <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't scare you. It didn't scare me. That is one thing. Yeah, I mean, like Daniel Craig and Pierce Brosnan, it could have gone either way with those guys. It might have scared them. If, a lot of people were like, oh, like uh, Daniel Craig, he's kind of like a uh, unconventional looking Bond, and so I feel like if they keep pushing that. They and then it could come down to me. I think it might. But uh, go ahead with what you were going to say. You and Pratt buddies. A Bond who can't chase anyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'll catch him whenever I get to Monaco again. Uh, Pratt and I are, um, uh, yeah, I could say you we're, we're close to best friends now. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. You, you guys should do a two-hander, you know? I mean, look. Uh, Melissa McCarthy popped off of that uh, Bridesmaids mm-hmm. movie, mm-hmm. and then she did you know like things like Spy and stuff like that. Yeah. It, could, it could be you next. He was he was I remember he has a shirtless scene. A spoiler alert: there's a shirtless oh. scene with him in the movie. Okay, um, I have one too. Um, okay, but, to balance uh, it out. To balance it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Same. split screen. <laughs> it's like choose which side of the screen you want to look at to get horny. <laughs> it's like a competition. <laughs> it's uh, they put it in there to make the if they they thought the audience was too horny so it, i'm the following <laughs> oh, scene. oh my god all I'm these the, people won't be able to see the screen in front of the, with their boners in front of their eyes they call me the yeah i'm the cooler basically um <laughs> but uh he had a shirtless scene and he was in the gym working out one day and he and i was in there on the treadmill at three miles per hour i walking on the treadmill and his trainer came over jared and a great guy and he was like is this jared from subway it's jared from subway wow because yeah. he lost it, a lot of weight it makes sense he is yeah. and pratt lost a lot of weight yeah so. those big huge pants that he used to like hold out and go look at all look at how that's, big i used to be and then that's and that's a pratt saw that i believe and thought not a great was, guy i would say like generally with his personal life but i would like have him as a trainer yes he oh, knows no. what he's doing oh yeah i know and he also he was he was invited to the premiere by the way <laughs> okay good <laughs> <laughs> but uh he uh he 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 was like you can put this on an incline of three and i was like oh all right and then i was like sweating just going three miles per hour and then pratt had been in there i had found out for like four hours oh. and was like sculpting it like he was just trying yeah. to get like here's 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 what i wonder now with CGI's, like they can mm-hmm. put all these aliens in this movie. Let's just replace his body. Like he does, so he doesn't have to do it. I agree. For four hours, replace your body. Yeah, replace everybody's yeah, no body. Shit. Jeez, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, what are these? What are, what they are these doing? computer guys doing, man? <laughs> they, they make one alien. They're like, okay, I'm going home for the day. It's fucking noon. <laughs> Work on Chris's body. I will say though that there. 
just to make me seem a little bit more normal sized, it was kind of shot like Lord of the Rings esque. Um, With like forced perspective or for, something? Forced perspective where I was <laughs> where like. you're always in the background? I was like, like, like a half a mile behind the other actors. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, look at that normal size guy. <laughs> It works really well. I can't wait for everything you say is shouted so that the camera can hear you. (laughs) Well, this is incredible. Tomorrow War is out now, Mm -hmm. and I can't wait to see it. We'll talk about that. I'm uh, uh, what about Premier Magazine, by the way? Uh, huge fan. Uh, Waller (laughs) Crimby, what's her name? Libby Gelman Wax. Yeah, that's it. What column there? Didn't she? Was it or was that Entertainment Weekly? I I think, I think, I think it crossed over into both. I can't recall. Libby Gilman Wax, yeah, Libby Gelman Waxner, I believe. Yes. Um, well, uh, that's a great note to end on. Tomorrow War is, is out. Doughboys, people can hear on uh, Wednesdays or something. Yeah, or? it's on. It's on. It's on. Uh, yeah, every every. Uh, oh wait, no, that's wrong. Every Thursday, I agreed with you, but every, I was yeah. I was wrong. Look, don't let me dominate you. No, no, no. It here. will come out on, th- on Wednesdays from here <laughs> on out. It's a Wednesday release. Nick. <laughs> oh, we gotta switch days. <laughs> Well, that's great. Um, you can stick around and talk to her. Uh, yes, show. I would love yeah? to. Okay, yeah, because we have we have an old friend here on the show. I don't Ooh, know if you've right. ever. Uh, I don't know if that show that you were on in uh, mm-hmm. Quincy, if he was on that, or Ooh, I, don't know. Uh, I don't. I think I don't he think started so. coming on to the show uh, after that tour. So maybe yeah. you've never even met him. Well, but, I'm very uh, excited. I I mentioned him a little earlier. He is a guy who works at a store. I think that's mm. an accurate way to describe him. Um, he is our old friend. Uh, please welcome back to the show, Maxwell Keeper, aka the Timekeeper. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> That's right. I wow. forgot. Tis I, the very timekeeper. <laughs> yes. Welcome back, Maxwell. This is uh, Mike Mitchell. Uh, oh, I know Mike quite well. You do? From what? From I was a consultant for him on the Tomorrow oh, War. Oh, right. <laughs> Wait, you you didn't remember this? I didn't remember. Look, I saw a lot of people last night, and I forgot that you were there. You were at the premiere. That's right. I was floating around, and so excited. <laughs> floating jumping, around. Clicking my heels together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What did you actually do for the th- the movie? You just kept reminding everyone that tomorrow is 24 hours from now? or It was specifically with Mike. He would call me and uh, ask. He was getting confused about the way time worked in the movie. <laughs> I understand, yeah. I, I, I got confused just listening to yeah, him. I, I, I did, yeah, and I wish, I wish you, were, you would come in here earlier and help me out with the description of the movie. Yeah, it's, yes. Well, the original title, as you may not know, was The Wednesday War. And then in parentheses, <laughs> by the way, today is Tuesday. <laughs> oh, okay. So what happened with that well, title? I said, Just... Mitch, can I call you that or is it Mike? <laughs> okay, said, yeah, that's kind of what we went through. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? And I said... <laughs> You got to tell them to call it the Tomorrow War. So you you lobbied for the Tomorrow War, and that's what I it did. Ended. Well, he, Timekeeper made a great point of like t- Tuesday, Wednesday. Like movies usually come out on Fridays. That's I was true. Like, that's yeah, a great the point. majority of people see them on Fridays or Saturdays. Yeah. sometimes Sundays. Yeah. So, so I so I so I so I, I thought it was a great point. So I lobbied for it. And what we, if it just changed every single day? That, I, that was you also I mean? an option. I so, think, but I think that would be confusing too. Of like, oh, well, should we go see the Saturday War? I, I don't think we can see that until tomorrow. <laughs> I'm loving all these day references. <laughs> I know you are. Oh, you you would only love uh, references like that on a day that ends in day. Isn't that right? <laughs> is you that your, know it. Is that your favorite joke? Yes. Um, Maxwell. Um, Tis I. Yeah. T- uh, uh, I, I I want. I you know. I, it's interesting that you're back. I saw you were booked on the show, and mm-hmm. I there there's something that I wanted to talk to you about. Can you talk about this? Do you know? Do you have any idea of like what's going on in the world? Lately with, uh, 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 I mean, the timekeepers. Yes, is, yes. In, oh, in yeah. Loki, or that, <laughs> yes, is yes. that of which thine is speaking? <laughs> yes, of course. Well, you, that's what I was coming You don't up. have to be so formal, Maxwell, if you don't want to be. I, I was, I'm not. I'm being as casual as... I ever could be okay. upon this very earth. By the way, let's for for people who don't uh, who are new listeners to the show, let's just catch you up. Uh, They've catch already them up. turned off their <laughs> I know radio. I know. <laughs> but let's catch them up. You're a guy. Where are you from again? Tallahassee, Florida. <laughs> and you work in your brother's watch repair shop. Yes, Longo Watch Repair. Right. And you, what are your duties again? Well. I was called, if someone dropped off their watch for repair, I would call them every 10 minutes to let them know what time it is. Right. But 
with a pandemic. <gasps> oh, no. I Zoomed them every 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Good to know. So they would have to log on to Zoom themselves, or they just kept their Zoom on? They just wouldn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever Zoom Jeffrey Tubin? I uh, yes, accidentally. <laughs> oh, no. I caught quite the eyeful. <laughs> just like that tower over there in Paris. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love Gustav and all the rest. <laughs> so you, <laughs> so so that that's you. Uh, so I was doing that. Yes, you were doing that. Your brother Desmond. But he had Desmond to work Longo, from home. Right? Desmond. Yes. Yeah. And, you know. And then I sort of got. Why into, did he have to work from home? He's the only guy there in the shop. That's a good did, question. Did, did he like go to the shop to pick up the watches and then bring them home? Yes, like, he did. <laughs> Okay, interesting. Anyway, go ahead. You should talk to him. A okay. great man. I would love to have him on the show at oh, some point. Oh, perhaps you, you threatened to, to bring him on I should times. bring him on. And my sister, Eleanor. <laughs> yes, that's right. And who was the woman that you were uh, interested in? Lisa Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened with her? <laughs> it's it's a, a long distance uh, right. thing, sort of. We heard a lot about you on the, the tour in 2016. Oh, yeah. a wonderful year. And then suddenly you weren't on that tour anymore. <laughs> yes, I got scared. <laughs> <laughs> Just like uh, Mitch could have with the gun. Yes. Oh, yes. I, I got scared of being away from the watch store. But yes. Okay, so now that everyone knows who you are. Yes. You, you and I've co been coming on this show to talk about how wonderful time is. And you've called yourself this name, The, the Time, time keeper. keeper. And this is not anything anyone else calls you. It's something you call yourself. Is that I, right? I, you've called me it. Sure. Other <laughs> guests on the show have. Sure. And then you were part of something called the the Order the of the Order Keepers. The Order of the Keepers, and that came and went. That's and not going to be canon for this for this episode. <laughs> oh, probably. good, because I don't remember much. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so you uh, uh, you call yourself the Timekeeper, and then suddenly this television program. I guess it's a streamer. I don't know if it's a television program, but people watch it on their television. Sometimes they're they're uh, you know their iPads. Sometimes even their little tiny phones. Can you believe it? An excellent point. <laughs> but they uh, they've been watching this show called Loki, Loki, which or Marvel Studios Loki mm -hmm. might be the official title. And there is Mitch. Have you seen this by the way? Marvel Studios I have, Loki. I was going to say that you you should he should consult on the show. But I was going to also say that if if you watch the Tomorrow War and you turn up the volume really hard, you can hear Timekeeper zooming every ten oh, minutes no, or so. Oh no, really? Very faintly in the background. So yeah. Mitch I dropped off his watch for a pair. <laughs> <laughs> That'll at least let me know how much longer I have to go in the movie. So yes, it might helpful be helpful in some ways. Yeah. But as you might recall, a year ago I was getting into lobbying on behalf of there being more time in showbiz. Mm. Oh, no time right. for, to die was theoretically <laughs> going to come about out. to come out. Yeah, that's right. I think yeah. Still weren't, hasn't. Weren't you in one of the very last episodes right before the pandemic? I believe so, yes. And you sang your version of the No Time to Die theme song. Yes, That's right. yes. Okay. And look, it worked. I got Loki going. I mean, no one has credited me with this or spoken to me, but yeah. we got so Loki they, they, dealing with time travel. We've got the Tomorrow War. I, mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mission but, accomplished. But I guess in Loki, there is... There, there is, uh, the, or there are these characters called the Timekeepers, yes, and everyone yes. is wondering if that has anything to do with you. Or... Oh, they are. <laughs> I mean, when I say everyone, I fielded a few random tweets from people, but oh, it, it well, seems. Th th but so other people are calling me the Timekeeper. <laughs> it's, it's. It also seems like a friend of mine is getting some tweets, but he's not on Twitter it, much. It seems oh, like so. I didn't. Even, I should look at that. <laughs> um, yes, yes. No, I, I'm sure it's a tribute to me. This. These these Wizard of Oz esque timekeeper characters. You so. think they're Wizard of Oz esque? Well, I. Like, what what about them? Screams Wizard of Oz to you? Because you mentioned you were clicking your heels earlier oh, when you first came on the show. So I wonder if you have the like timekeepers on Loki. Yeah, I don't know. I thought the whole scene with them felt like a Wizard of Oz tribute. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> Perhaps I'm wrong. Oh, well, I mean, it may be. It may be. So you have nothing to do with this, though. No, I, well, I'm sure indirectly, it's all influenced by me. But I see. I'm putting this showbiz behind me now. Really? Why? Oh. What are you up to now? I. It's gone too big. I've, I've, like I say, I've, it's mission accomplished. I've come on the show. Everyone loves time now. But what's talking about time and making streamers, if that's what you even call them, and yep. <laughs> movies about time. And, and by the way, dear listener, when I said movies, I gestured to Mike Mitchell quite vociferously. <laughs> it's true. It's very a true. guy who is in movies. Yeah. Yes, and so. <laughs> I feel like I've lost sight of what's really important. What, and what is really important to you? Because Helping people 
appreciate time. Okay. So how I'm, do we do this? How do we get the word out? I'm going to just start walking around the country. <laughs> oh. I'm going to start... And, and look, yes, anyone who can afford Disney Plus sign and uh, Amazon Prime a day can uh, watch these things now. But what about those poor kids out there who can't even mm. afford a uh, wristwatch, nary a pocket watch? Oh, I can't imagine a poor young child out so there I'm gonna, who can't afford a pocket watch. I'm going to walk around the a country fob? like a... <laughs> Like a modern day Johnny Apple watch. <laughs> <laughs> I think and when I'm, you say modern day something, you already updated it to the modern day thing. Like you should say modern day Johnny Apple seed or just say like Johnny Apple watch. Oh, you can't combine these. A things. critique I've heard many a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your favorite thing, time. Ooh, indeed. <laughs> That's a, and and so I've, I've bought a pot for a hat and I'm going to walk around the country. Why don't you update that? Like buy a crock pot or say, you know, a pressure cooker it or a is not stick. Or <laughs> Okay, that's that's a good update. You're right. <laughs> and if I see two children playing unaccompanied by parents mm. and neither one of them has a timepiece upon their very wrist, mm. I'll go up and I'll say, do you know how to tell time? And I'll teach them or give them a little <laughs> rhyme to let them know. Oh, like what kind of rhyme? Oh, just the classics, you know. Um... <laughs> The shorthand points to the hour. This we know is true. The longhand points to the minute. That's good to know, too. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and I'll tell this to anyone I see without a watch upon their wrist. Mm. Or and anyone without wrists. At, oh, yeah, well, that's true. Not everyone has these wonderful things that we call wrists. They go back and forth and back and forth, but not everyone is blessed to have them. What mm. do you do in that scenario for, for uh, yeah. wristless folk? Well, uh, sometimes I call the wrist master and he goes and talks to them, but... <laughs> Who's the wrist master? Oh, just a friend of mine from Tallahassee. <laughs> what, does, what does he do? And where do you know him from? I know him from, well, the street. I met him on the street. Sure. Uh, we're in a crosswalk, to be specific. And <laughs> like in the middle of the crosswalk? Did, did you have like a big meeting? And yes, the exact exact middle. We, the count, exact we middle? counled the stripes and it was the middle. And, yes. And did it suddenly turn red and all the cars were beeping Yes, at but you we were or? getting along so great. Mm. We just hit it off. And he's yeah. kind of like me for time, but for wrists. <laughs> The wrist master. You should have him on. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, bring him. Bring him by if you can. I mean, I uh, I'll try. Yeah. Uh, so, how? First of all, where are you going to start walking? In Tallahassee or here? Yes, in Tallahassee. Okay, so you're going to take a plane back to Tallahassee. Why don't you just start here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. I'll and, start here. And how how many people do you expect to teach about time? If you were you're walking across the entire country, are you are you going to try to cover every square inch by going up and down, up and down, up and down? Yes. Or are you I just mean that was the plan. Straight? No, no, the plan was every square inch. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, very <laughs> gumpy in of you. Really. Gump. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, so, I'll go to that lighthouse in Maine. And <laughs> right. <laughs> and so, how many people do you expect to actually teach about time? If you had to ballpark it. Oh, I'd say. Seven million. Okay. Oh my god! Wow, that's a. I mean, Mitch, that's that's a lot that's, of people. That's a lot of people. But I mean. honestly, I I feel like with everything that's happened in the last year, this is like something that's kind of overlooked. So I feel like it's a kind of a yeah. nice thing mm. to do. Well, I mean, I feel like in twenty twenty. I mean, during the whole pandemic, it was like you would look to your significant other and oh, I hope you had one during the pandemic, and you'd mm. be like. What time is it? What day is it? I mean, it oh, seems like yes. everyone just yes. forgot everything about time. Yes, yes. I don't think I said hip, heap, hip, hooray once in the last year. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes. And that's the thing I say. <laughs> it's one of the things you say. You yes. said tis I, tis I as oh, well. Oh, I, I never realized that. <laughs> you never realized that. <laughs> Thy speaks the truth. <laughs> Well, that's Mitch, great, Maxwell. Oh, oh you, you have something to ask, Mitch? I just want to make sure he still understands how the time works. It's oh, yes. War. You got it now? You understand? I will say, though, during the pandemic, you're not going to be happy. I, I did throw my watch out the window, <gasps> which I... Oh, no. Was that because of... It's because... A poor child was out there asking what time it is, and you threw him a watch... There like was a poor child out there, and but the, that was besides the point. I kind of ignored him, and oh. then I threw the watch out the window. Is it because you wanted to see if t time could fly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I had an old joke book, and, <laughs> and you're like, I'm gonna act out every single one of these. I read, I saw the date on it. I was like, this is too old to be a joke book. So I thought it was maybe some sort of instruction manual. Oh, so I took my watch yeah. off. I threw it out the window, and nah, nothing happened. But also, <laughs> Mike Mitchell, you are a trickster on par with Loki himself. <laughs> to speak nothing of Sylvie. <laughs> Oh, the, the, oh, don't roast me like that, timekeeper. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> I, uh, I I had no need for a watch this last year. It's the truth. Yeah, I mean, everyone just was like, you know what? I'm just going to put my head down, not notice anything, just and start baking. I mean, I guess you got to look at time to bake unless mm. you, you know, just That's do true. it by smell. Or the sun. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> So, yeah, no. So, is that it for you? (laughs) I don't know. I could keep going forever. Well, look, we do have to take a break. uh, Mitch, can I sleep in your bed tonight? uh, Yes, but it's going to be crowded. You're going to have to be between my mom and sister if that's okay. All right. (laughs) What are you going to tell Lisa Portia? uh, Yes, yes, I'm in touch with her still. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Well, Um, look, we do have to take a break. When we come back, uh, oh boy, we have a famous chef coming up. So much more show. We will be right back with more Mike Mitchell, more Maxwell Keeper. We'll be right back with more Comedy Bang. Back after this, TikTok. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back. Uh, we have Mike Mitchell, uh, a.k.a. Mitch, of Tomorrow War. The Tomorrow War, I believe. The Tomorrow, yes. The Tomorrow the, War. The, yeah, the, the Tomorrow War. The Tomorrow War. Uh, that is out right now on Amazon. Uh, people can watch it streaming on Amazon mm-hmm. if they have Prime, I guess. The and, Bezos Network, it's oh, on there. You, you ever could, met that guy? You ever go into space with him? You, you know what? He was he was, uh, he was was on set every day. He was there is every day. Is that how day. he got the idea to go into space? He's that, like, this looks fucking cool. <laughs> Shoot me up in there, bro. That's exactly also exactly spot on of how he yeah, sounds. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, he was he 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 uh, he was there every day and uh, and and yeah, he was inspired to go to space because of that and uh, oh. yeah because of the movie. Even though there are no sequences in space. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, technically, Earth is in space. That's that is a good po- that's a good point. So yeah, yeah. Maxwell a, Keeper here. Yes, yes, or you could call me Johnny Apple Watch. <laughs> I think I'll stick to Maxwell Keeper. Okay, but, but it's kind of my new persona. Do you think you're getting rid of the timekeeper? You're just going to be Johnny Applewatch? No, I think I'll keep both. I'm going to just amass more and more nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> like a 90s rapper. Yes, more and more tick names. Oh, okay, T- good, good. TikTok. TikTok, of well, course. Well, 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 Is that you, Maxwell? Well. Tis not. Clear your throat. Uh, you don't sound the same. I don't. <laughs> oh, no, this ain't Maxwell. You know exactly who this is, Scotty D. Uh, yeah. It's your old friend. Uh, look, look real close. I'm sorry, you're in shadows right now. This is this is someone else talking. Uh, make yourself known, sir. Click, click. I turned on this lamp. <laughs> okay, we usually like to do the show in total darkness. You don't recognize me? Think back. June fifth, nineteen eighty one. June fifth, nineteen eighty one. Let's the see. Bank of California heist. The Bank of California heist. <gasps> me, you. What you gonna do? <laughs> wait, just you and me? You and me? Not three. <laughs> okay. Wait, is this who I think it is? Is yeah, this? Yeah, that's right. Cleotis. Cleotis? Martholabu. <laughs> Cleotis Martholabu. <laughs> well, 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 Scott. Well, well, well. It's been a long time, Daddy O. Uh, yes. But dig this. Yeah. I'm out. You're, you, you got out. And I'm here to exact my revenge on you. Oh, on me? You never came to see me in there, Scott. <laughs> I was in the clink, all locked up. Well, well I mean, you know, you, they don't just let anyone in there. I mean, and we pulled off that job together. I didn't yeah. want to give them and any, th- like, ideas. And that, now you admit it on your ready, your ready show. Uh, well, I mean, the statute of limitations is long gone for, uh, I mean, everything we did, right? Well, I just got out. 1980 to 2021. Yeah, well, no, you were locked up for a while, but the statute of limitations has expired at this point. Everything except murder. We didn't murder anyone, did we? We shot three people. <laughs> now dig this. Yeah. Cat Daddy, take your shovel out and dig this, Daddy O. Okay, yeah, I do have my shovel. I got some more heist for us. <gasps> You want me back in? I want you back in like Schwinn. Two wheels going down the street. Zoom, zoom. You just got out of, of prison. When did you get out? I got out in the middle of COVID. <laughs> so what, like seven months ago? Yeah, right in the middle. Smack dab, daddy-o. So what, what if you Smack been... dab in the middle like a spaghetti-o, daddy-o. <laughs> Why are you rhyming all the time? That's not something you did rhyming. back then. Rhyming. <laughs> 
Now, what you yapping about from your two lips? By the way, what, what did you think about Maxwell Keeper's rhyme earlier in the, in the show? Did you hear that? <laughs> what did he say? From a rhyming guy. <laughs> I'm not really rhyming. I'm just. <laughs> he may not have been in here yet. <laughs> I wasn't here. Well, I don't know. It was in, I was under in the lamp. darkness. Under that lampshade, you can't hear anything. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you can't hear anything with your two side face flappers. By the way, this is Mike Mitchell of The hey. Tomorrow War, which is a streaming movie. Yeah. I don't know if you even know what those I are. I have no clue. I've been in jail. Mm. Only movies we got is with two people act them out in front of a sheet. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the movies you saw there in jail? Face Off. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wow. Wait, was it the two people? Was it John Travolta and Nicolas Cage? <laughs> yes, they came in. That's why they, you could you could have came and saw me, Jack. Jack, Scotty, Jack. You could have came in and saw me. And you didn't. You forgot about me. I, I for look. Forty years. I'm, I'm so sorry. Look, you know, it was basically just one hour of my life. You grabbed me on your way into the bank, and you were like, "Hey, come in here for a second. We were best friends. I got grabbed you. That's like, that's your story now. Fine, fine. Whatever you want to say. I mean, you fine, thought we were Jack. best friends. I, I, I. That's why I grabbed you. I said. <laughs> That jive turkey right there looks like he could lay down some some get down. We don't we don't call people jive turkeys anymore. We consider what? that to be offensive. No, everything is so woke now. <laughs> oh, you know that term? <laughs> yeah, we had we had woke people in prison. Oh, really? <laughs> Who were they? <laughs> A couple of my buddies. Oh, okay. Ski do. Ski do. And and jet ski. Jet ski. Oh, both okay. of these guys. No relation. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, they're both. Uh, 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 crafts of vehicles that you take out on the water. Watercraft vehicles? Is I would know. I've been in prison. You know, surely they were invented before. By the way, this is Mike Mitchell. Hey, Mike Mitchell. I, yeah, hey, how you doing? How you doing? You're going you're gonna to get a, you're going to, you're going to put another scheme together, were you saying? Yeah. I think he went on, wants in on this. I, I, mean, I, know, I know how to shoot a gun. Just recently, I He learned. doesn't get scared by it or yeah. anything. What kind of gun? Uh, an AR-15. Can you do it in <laughs> 1.5 seconds? Uh, exactly, actually. It's going to be a whole deal if we got to do it over again. Dig this. Take out your shovel and dig this and listen with your two face flaps. Okay? Mm. If you... Mm-hmm. Side face flaps, not front face flaps. Okay, got it. thanks for clarifying. You talk with your front. You, right, you yeah. yap with your front face flaps. The flap in which you yap is the, the front. Yes. Yes. Okay. Dig. And what's the side flap? Is that me? <laughs> That's what you the listen. Ears? That's what you listen with. Oh. You call these Jack. flaps? Yeah. Yeah, okay. flap it. <laughs> I would have to use my hand to flap it, but go ahead. If you don't shoot the gun within 1.5 seconds, mm-hmm. it's got, we got to do the whole heist. We got to do the heist here. in 45 minutes? Yeah. This, oh. is, this is perfect. I love these time amounts. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is Maxwell Keeper. Uh, Johnny Apple Watch. Thank you. Slide me some skin, Johnny Apple Watch. Okay. Is there uh, any place for him? I mean, a guy who keeps time? I mean, a lot of high sicey are like, we only have 45 seconds before they call the police. We only got 1.5 seconds. 1. To 1. shoot the gun. To shoot one this, gun. But this heist is just to shoot the judge. That put oh, me in what? what? This Wait is a minute. heist. <laughs> yeah. Are you in now? You came back oh, out. God. You came back this out. This is what he said to me. He grabbed me on the street. He's like, you're my best friend I feel now. Like we could be best friends, Jack. <laughs> or what are you, yellow? I mean, I t- kind of don't want to kill a judge. What are you, you- yellow? <laughs> I, I don't want to be called yellow either, though, so I, I guess I'm in. Yeah. Can we really call people that these days? I'm what are you, sure. yellow? Your yellow face? <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't. They, you, I know you've been in prison since 1981, but that's not the kind of thing that no, we say. Everybody's woke. <laughs> yes, like Ski-Doo yes, we and are. Jet ski. Good old Ski Doo and Jet Ski, have, they know what's up. Listen, Scotty. Dick. I've been listening. I don't think you're listening. Open up your side face flaps <laughs> and listen clear and listen here and listen near, not far. You are a rhyming guy. I don't know why you say you're I'm not, not a rhyming. rhyming. Guy. I'm just talking okay, jive. All right. <laughs> yeah, I have a friend that rhymes very well. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Another guy who calls me Scotty D. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. That's how we know each other. Oh, <laughs> wait. <laughs> you know MC Sugarbutt? Yes, he used to perform for us in the clink. <laughs> Wait, but he was in a coma when he got out. Oh, when he got out the oh, first okay. the first oh, time, oh, then so he went back in. So it was a it was a brief, but then I, it's, okay, it, yeah. it, MC it, Sugarbutt it, for listeners, by the way, was a uh, uh, an old school rapper who was in a coma and and never changed his style because he was in a coma for thirty five years. Is that what? <laughs> but the, he got out. Right. And then went back into a coma two weeks later. He did. Okay. Yes. So he's still in the coma now. That's why he hasn't been back. No, he's back. Oh, he is back. He's just taking a break. Okay. <laughs> he found Islam. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, he's Muslim now. <laughs> Look, I got to say, uh, Cleotis Martholobu, I don't think that any of us here, I, I don't mean to speak for you, Maxwell, but I don't think any of us here are interested in killing a judge. I, mean, I, I, got, I got a question. Is it, 
is it Judge Mathis or Judge, Judge Judy? You Judge, know, Judge Joe, Joe Brown. Brown. My mom would kill me if it was if I had to kill one of those. Judge Reinhold. It's Judge Reinhold. Oh my god! No, not Fast Times Ridgemont High Zone. <laughs> yeah. Judge Reinhold. He put me in the clink. He put, wait. And vice versa. Yeah, he was. He's the one that fingered me. No, I'm saying he's from vice versa. Oh. Oh. I'm still listing his credits. Yes, and also. <laughs> yes, oh. and the other way around. I thought that he was the judge. I thought you, you meant he was the actual judge in your case. He was just the guy who... who he who, fingered you? He fingered, fingered me. You. fingered me real good, real deep. He looked right at me and said, that's him. That's who did it. Fingered me real good. Wow. Oh, man. So he was a witness. I didn't even know. I would have been starstruck. I witness. But he didn't name you. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I, I basically, like, I, wa- I you dragged me into the bank. I took one look at it. I was like, ah, I'm going to leave. And then I left. I don't, I really was not a part of this. That makes us cohorts. <laughs> I don't think so. Cohorts. C-O-H-E-R-T-Z. By the way, O.J. Simpson, speaking of hurts. <laughs> have you heard about what happened to him? Who? <laughs> Wait, you have to know who O.J. Yes. He hosted <laughs> SNL before you went up. <laughs> the famous actor. <laughs> Nordberg. Oh, you don't even know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Is that from another movie? <laughs> did he not come and act it out? <laughs> no. We got Face Off. We got... Uh, did you ever see him around in there, though? We went in the same... We went in the same <laughs> clique, Jack. Were you uh, able to see Chariots of Fire before you went into prison? I was. 1981? See, that was the last movie I saw. I saw the wow. night before me and, me and old Scotty D over here did the heist. You don't even know what an E.T. is. The extraterrestrial. <laughs> no, I missed that one. Oh. We got Face Off. We got White Man's Burden. <laughs> White Man Can't Jump? <laughs> White Man Can't Jump. <laughs> With got, Wesley Snipes. He was at the premiere last night. Does oh, that really? excite you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got Mike. Oh, really? <laughs> so these are all just John Travolta movies? <laughs> phenomenon? We got Phenomenon. We got the one where he was the president, but it wasn't really the president. Broken Arrow? <laughs> uh, what was the movie called? He was, he yeah, was playing... Uh, the president. Yeah, he's playing Clinton, Bill basically. Clinton, yeah. yeah. Do you, so Prime you know who Bill Clinton is? I know. Yeah, we, we did get newspapers in there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> A lot of people came in when Bill Clinton was president. <laughs> they got really overcrowded. Yeah, from what I hear. Uh, and then Joe Biden, when he had that, that bill. That ah, crime bill. Joe Biden. If I see him on the streets. <laughs> oh, where's don't he, don't say he, anything. Don't say that. No, no, we don't want the <laughs> Secret Service to come in here. Don't say anything, please. What's he doing now? <laughs> I'll let you catch up on that later. So you did get newspapers, though. <laughs> yeah, we got Not newspapers. good ones, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were always four years behind. <laughs> oh, I understand. Mm, wonderful amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I don't, th- I don't think this is going to happen. I'm, come so on, I'm out. For this reason, I'm out. Um, wow. uh, for yellow. this reason, I'm I'm out too. Yeah, but Mac- Maxwell. I mean, he's going across the country. Maybe you'll see Judge Reinhold uh, in your in your travels. Sure, I'll finger him if I see him. Yes. I'll let you know. <laughs> finger him real good, real deep. <laughs> First I speak of clock hands, then the wrist masters brought up, now fingers. <laughs> this episode has quite the theme, dear Scott. Okay. Yeah, Scott. <laughs> well, look, we have to take a break. Uh, Cleotis, look, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but do you want to stick around? What do you mean you can't believe I'm going to say this? Well, I mean, just, you know, we're, we're out on your scheme, and maybe you just want to take off and go find someone else to no, I'm out your here. cohorts. No, I'm stay, out stay. Here. You sure? Yeah, I really want you to be here. Please. Feels fake. Don't make us bag. Do we? Do you, do you want us to beg? We'll beg. Beg. Yeah, go, Mitch, you beg first. Please, will you please stay? Uh, I really would like you to stick around. I know I want you to judge for you, but you seem like a fun guy. Uh, this guy could be my best friend. <laughs> All right, Jack, I'll stick around. I'll stick down like a fly on paper. Okay, wonderful. Well, uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have more Mike Mitchell. We will have more Maxwell Keeper. I know Johnny Apple Watch, plus more Cleotis, Martholobu, and a world famous chef. Are you guys oh, hungry? Wow. Because mm-hmm. when I see someone like this booked on the show, I assume we are all going to eat something. Boy, this is exciting. Uh, Wolfgang Puck will be on the Ooh. show in just a second. So we'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang after this. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back. Uh, the Tomorrow War, uh, I'm sure that's going to be the first movie you see, right, uh, Cleotis? I'm going to go back into the clink and act it out for the fellas. <laughs> oh, that's so nice of you. Yeah. Uh, I'd is... join you with that. Instead of killing a judge, I'd much rather I'd Yeah, much the rather two of do you, could do, you could do. You could be Chris Pratt and... He could be him. Yeah, it could be my character. No, thanks. Unless you want to switch. I don't know. Yeah, I would Maybe rather. You'd... It's <laughs> somebody in the clink that's going to play you, Jack. 
<laughs> All right. I'll just watch. I'll is be it fine watching it. Ski Doo, he's still in there. Is, what did Ski Doo and Jeski do, by the way? They're so woke. What, yeah. well, did well, they just get canceled and have to go to jail? Yeah. They got uh, canceled. They sent oh, themselves man. to jail? Oh, wow. They woke somebody to death. <laughs> oh, no. We also have uh, uh, Johnny Apple Watch here. TikTok, TikTok. And during the break, how long was that break, by the way? Exactly. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> oh, really? Exactly two minutes? Yes. We usually don't get it that exactly, so that's wonderful. Oh, well, well maybe you'll edit it. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we have to... I, I talked about this before the break. I hope you guys are hungry because uh, we have a very special guest on here, undoubtedly here to do a cooking segment, I would imagine. Uh, please welcome to the show for the first time, Wolfgang Puck. Oh, uh, yeah, hello, Scott. Yes, oh my gosh, hello. Wow. Hello, yeah, this is um, uh, Johnny Apple. TikTok. Oh, yes, TikTok, yes. Uh, this is Mike Mitchell hey, of the Tomorrow doing? War. Hi, movie star. Oh, I'm very please. familiar with movies, yes. And uh, Cleo... Oh, star. so you know what E.T. is? Ah, uh, yes, of course. Chariots right. of Fire? Oh, simply yes. Okay, and this is Cleotus Martholobu. Oh, hello, Cleotus. Did this, Wolfgang. Oh. Do you know who Wolfgang Puck is? Very popular in like the 90s with yes, like curious, things put on pizzas. Know. Yeah. The last thing I ate was a cookie <laughs> puss from Carvel. <laughs> they oh. didn't feed you in jail? <laughs> well, I ate in jail. Oh, <laughs> this <laughs> breaks chefs. Wolfgang's heart. Oh, so sad. Mm. But I'm sure I get to know you well. Yeah. I'm going to open up my side flaps and listen. Oh, okay, but but I opened my front flap. <laughs> yes, dig this. He Welcome truly to the has show, a flap. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show, Wolfgang. It's so great oh, to meet you. Thank you. So grateful to be here. All right. Let's get, let's get cooking. What do you, what'd you bring here? Oh, well, uh, you know, it's easy for Wolfgang to go get food. We can go do that. To go, what do you mean to go get food? To go I, call my bring... team. I, I didn't. I, I'm not here for, oh, for cooking. Oh, shit. I intentionally right. didn't eat. Yeah, gonna, no. gonna, I called these guys. I was like, don't eat before the show. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. No, I, I can, but was here more for um, for newer cor- sort of purpose. You a, new, know? a newer purpose than eating? I mean, I don't know what's more yeah. new than that. You do it Just, three times a day. Scott called and said, Twill be meal time. Oh, as we got record. Him very excited. Oh, this breaks Wolfgang's heart. Okay, well, you know what? I'm, I make calls. I'll go ahead. I'll find. I'll get some food. Nah, but I'll just eat. Get us food I'll delivered. Eat a, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite delivery? I'm happy oh, to. I'll just eat a cold tortilla. Oh, oh, that break Wolfie's heart. Oh no, I I came because I I wanted to talk more about. You want to talk about? Say, okay. I'm, I mean, I'm a little disappointed, but I'll get. Okay, I'll, Scott. How about I talk about what I want to chat and then. And, and then I whip something up. Okay. Uh-huh. I have food in trunk. Out of, out of what? Oh, food in your trunk? Always. Trunk food. Always. All right. I'll take trunk food any I'll day take of the week. Food. Wolfgang always travel with trunk food. Okay. Good. Always. Any What's... day that ends in D-A-Y, I'll take oh. trunk food. <laughs> well, <laughs> I knew that would get For me. an elephant, that's peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi, Did you queen. borrow that joke book of his? <laughs> yes. I'm reading it now. Did I? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. furiously through it. For prison, that's contraband. <laughs> <laughs> the joke book. Oh. Uh. No, I, I, you know, we're talking about time missed and, you know, you miss 90s, unfortunately, mm. but, you yeah. know. Time missed, time taken. Time taken, time, big time. Time travel. Time travel. Along oh, with all yeah. the fingers and digits Wonderful. that timekeeper yes. brings yes. you know, they're yeah. also big time theme, you know. Motif. And, yeah. uh, you know, for me. More, not, of a, more of an arm theme. Arm though, theme, yes. Because he was armed and he yes. shot that gun. Yep. Oh, I mean, yes. Some not people have wrists. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, so, so, you know, for me, it's big because 90s is back, you know. 90s. What do you mean 90s is back? 90s are back. 90s are cool. Doc Martens are cool. Mm, We're in 90s. Ni- you disagree? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel... <laughs> No, okay, I'll go along with you. Okay, 90s are back. 90s are back. You've got, you know, it's cool to wear, you know. Like one guy bought some Doc Martens and you just decided 90s are back? As far as Wolfgang, no, 90s (laughs) became back. Okay. I'm in my kitchen. A wonderful decade. I agree. And, you know, people think of Wolfgang very old school. You know, the Mm -hmm. Spago, old school chef, old school. Wolfgang Puck Express. Wolfgang Express, the soups, the frozen foods you can get at all retailers, all frozen foods. Is it making any sense to you, Cleo? Primary colors. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He, he's thinking of a movie. Not he's not giving you advice of how to advertise. I assume here. for packaging tips. Yeah, use no. primary colors. <laughs> Love it. By Red, anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ever figure out who that guy was? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, you did? Yes. Oh, wow. Tell anyone? <laughs> Joe Klein. Uh, oh wow. Who anonymous? <laughs> Go on. I'm sorry. <laughs> So yes. 90s are back. So, yeah, so according to Wolfgang, you know, 90s are back. And, you know, there's big movement. And 
What bets That's are That's usually what I do after I eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> that, I take as honor. Sign. I take as honor. Yeah. Quick no, movement. I think, you know, a lot of people say, like, when you burp to a chef, that's like saying, your food is wonderful. Yes. You know what I mean? So if you take a massive dump, that's mm-hmm. like got to be. Highest esteem. Chefs love to yeah. hear. They love to hear that. <laughs> yes. Tell them in the restaurant. Always. <laughs> call call on phone. Let me know. <laughs> Text in. Send, let me know. To know what moves through the body the way I most want it to wonderful. is the greatest possible I, gift. I, I have a question, Wolfgang. Yeah. We, uh, have we gotten to a thing yet, though? Oh, oh no. Sorry. <laughs> but go ahead. Go ahead with your question. No, yeah, yeah. I want to hear from the movie star. I was just saying, you were, you were big. Yeah, movie star deference. If, yeah, go if, ahead. Everybody now. else, shut up. If you were, if you were, if, if you know, if the 90s are back, yeah. you were huge in the 90s, that means that you're, you're back in a way, too. Well, right? you would think yeah. so. Yeah, you'd think so. Seems like yeah. you uh, have a little skin in the game with yeah. this whole 90s are back that I don't really agree that with. You disagree, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Firmly. Yeah. No, you'd think Usually so. Usually pop culture's at a, like a 20 year cycle, you yeah. know what I mean? It's 2021. Anyway, go I ahead. I guess maybe women's fashion, I don't know why, maybe connects, but. Okay. Um, I I see you're interested in women's fashion. Oh, I have wife. Just looking at it, or oh, <laughs> I have, you have, wife. You have wife. I have wife. I have daughters. You know, but um, yeah. So nineties are back, according to me and my team. And you, I think that's established right now. Let's move on to exactly why you're here. <laughs> Do we need to say it one more time? No. Okay, great. <laughs> and Wolfgang ha- is having fun and is part of... The- <laughs> That's what you're here to say? <laughs> you're having fun? Wolfgang is having fun and wanted to get the word out that I am also part of what's happening. Oh. And I'm here and you can find me having fun where all young people are having fun. I'm having fun mm. on Reels. I'm having fun on fleets. <laughs> is anyone having fun on Wolfgang fleets? Wolfgang is having so much fun talking about whatever young people want to talk to Wolfgang about. Always. Okay. Okay. So you're on like all of the social media apps like Abs- TikTok and, absolutely. and Instagram TikTok. and all those. Oh, sorry. Time I didn't mean to get you so excited. Sorry, platform. my eyes started spinning in circles. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did China invent you as well to keep track of us? <laughs> if they did, they never spoke of it to me. <laughs> It's a shame. It's a shame. Um, so you're back. You're out there on all the platforms. And what are you doing? Are you cooking for people on platforms like you? we thought you were going to do here? Or? Yes. That's where mostly cook, my cooking is now. Oh, cooking okay. demos. You know? And the way that they want it on those platforms, yeah, where it's like slow, long takes, <laughs> lots of lo- lo- labored conversation, you mm. know? Like just really kind of leaning into what kids want. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know a lot of those things like you like 10 seconds. Seconds and they they explode or whatever. What explode? They explode what? what the, explode? Uh, on Snapchat, this is this is something I found out from Crystalia that after a while they actually they <laughs> your ex- friend Hollywood yeah. friend my Hollywood friend he was at the premiere last night I allowed him there um, oh, from Army of really, the Dead from Army of the, <laughs> the Dead. good version <laughs> you really my uncut the version list. of Army of the Dead that I uh, got special ordered um, Crystalia he like they the, the, like a lot of that stuff isn't it fast does, does yeah it, isn't it fast paced when you say like you're yeah. you take are you doing them in real time? Yes, yeah, slow, real Sorry, time. Sorry, I, I know you're a big Bill Maher fan <laughs> as well, so that was a double. <laughs> a double whammy. <laughs> Timekeeper absolutely buzzing next to yeah, me. Yeah, boy. Like but, a, a alarm clock. Mm. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> oh, you finally said it. You haven't said it in 14 I'm, months. Yes, yes, I'm building up again. <laughs> honored, honored. So you, But are you doing it just as long as it takes to do the recipe? You're yeah, just letting it run? Yeah, real time cooking. Real yeah, time cooking. You feel now it doesn't work for platform? I I think I think that's just usually kind of quick, you know, ten second things. Ten you know. seconds though is, is that's maybe too short. Maybe yeah. too short, you know. I, no. so it's, I did that. <laughs> no. Leonis, you never even heard of too short. Yeah, too short. Oh. Who's that? I tell you, what's too short? Too short was when I called you and told you to drive down to the bank. 1981. Oh, how was about that this? you? That was me. You keep forgetting you, about me, You were Jack. impersonating the bank, though. You were saying there was a problem with the bank. That's the whole reason I was at the bank. That's how I was supposed to get you down there, but you don't remember this, do you? Jack, 1974. <gasps> I said, come down here, put on this beret. You are now a member of the Symbionese Liberation Army. <gasps> And we were supposed oh. to rob another bank. Well, oh, wait. No, we're talking with, with my friend Patty. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Jack, dig this. It's been dug. <laughs> Continue, gang. Patty here's always coming into Spago. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I so that's what you're here to say is is to is to watch Come you check out, out Wolfie. Come find. I'm know, part is, of. Isn't your food a little like I, I? I don't look. I have the utmost respect for you. A little yeah. less when we found out you weren't going to be cooking his stuff, but still could in trunk. Still could in trunk. Okay, but uh, isn't your food a little like old school? Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly what, what anyone wants to watch, right? You've got a goose liver pate and taking through the process. Yeah, we don't how- do goose liver pate really anymore, you know? I mean, what? I, not- I, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that, that's the biggest no. shock to you, Cleo. Oh, no. I don't want goose liver pate. <laughs> Cleo, oh, 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 no. Cleo. He's clutching his chest. Oh, I'll make it for you. Cleo, just no, don't pass. I'm dead. Oh, oh no. He knew oh, it too. Let me give him the breath of life. <laughs> Scott! <laughs> dig, dig this. Scott, oh. you usually do that on the mouth. <laughs> How did that work? <laughs> Not even on mouth flap. <laughs> my bottom flap. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Truly miraculous, yeah. But he was just reading that old joke book again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> I just keep reading the punchlines out loud. <laughs> I'm happy to make uh, goose liver for you, Cleo. Oh, yeah. You never go out of fashion for Wolfie, never. No, oh, yes. Thank you. I love a goose liver. <laughs> so soft. <laughs> like meat it's, sauce. But it's kind of cruel to animals, is, you know, the whole, isn't it? Now? Yeah, everything I mean, could be problem for animals. Everything woke. is woke, just like mm. C. Do say. Yeah. Yes. Mm. We couldn't kill none of the rats in jail yeah. because of Ski Do. Ski Do was Jet protecting Ski. the rats? Yeah. Oh I bet God. there's some rats who got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, some rats. You know what I'm talking about, Timekeeper. You been in the clink, Jack? Oh, I drove past Lompoc once. <laughs> <laughs> and you just got, pretty much you understood everything. I think I understand everything. <laughs> figure it out yeah but I I don't know people aren't you know really yeah. eating carbs a lot and a lot of your stuff is on pizzas and everything you know. what everything come back around everything comes back around so you mm. know yes n- people think of summer people aren't thinking of oh big giant goat cheese pizza yeah covered. they're thinking of their their, their beach pods exactly you well, know what I mean you live you live and work in Hollywood long enough you know mm. it's enough we're not in that zone it's body positivity now you know yeah, we're not bo- doing yeah, that can I positivity. ask a question yeah Pizza. Obviously, we all know the sentence we say when we're hungry. For pizza, we go, Tonight I think I shall dine upon that very food shaped like a clock itself. (laughs) That's sure as hell what I say. The round round pizza. Yeah, Wolfgang always instructs kitchen staff when pizzas are getting rolled. Make sure this looks like a clock. Have you ever put on the toppings to make it really look like a clock? (gasps) Timekeeper. This is a... a Incre- would you want to make real with me? Yeah, maybe the 90s don't have to be back. <laughs> no, I can't. I'm getting away from showbiz. <laughs> no! Oh, I'm walking across really show the country. No! John, John, Johnny Apple, watch. Stay, stay. No, I One can't. night in Spago Kitchen. One night, a wonderful amount <laughs> of time. Tis indeed a wonderful <laughs> amount of time. Oh, please, time kid. You must show but there, my but staff. there could be kids, sleeping kids, who need to learn about how time works. You're going to wake them up? Yes. <laughs> say it's 3 a.m.? I'm going to say, what, uh, wake up, I climbed through your window. Mm. I noticed that. Oh, yeah, you really no don't want to be doing You end up in clink. <laughs> you end up in the clink, Jack. You want to talk about one night, one night in Bangkok. Oh, okay. No. Okay, okay let's talk about it. From the oh. chess musical? Yes, I've been so we had. <laughs> for, for 40 years, all this all we got was one night in Bangkok. Jack. You had to listen to that over and over? Over and over again. Man, I wish the newspaper had printed the lyrics of a different song. <laughs> <laughs> From four years ago. I feel I, I need to right the wrong of not bringing the food. Yeah. Okay, so what are you going to do about it? <laughs> I cook. I cook. You're going to cook? cook? Okay. What, would I, what everybody want? Uh, I mean, I'd have one of those time pizzas that time keepers. Yeah, I'll take a time, time pizza. pizza. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What about Cleotis? Cleotis? Would like some goose liver pizza. Goose liver pizza. <laughs> I have okay, it all. Three time pizzas. Oven, I have pizza oven. Pizza. I have pizza oven in back of trunk. <laughs> really? I, yes. Always. Always. I would pizza. put it like by the engine. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, good. Better idea. Like, yeah. yeah. Better. Oh, okay. been dangerous. <laughs> I'll cook uh, time pizzas, goose liver pate for my dear friend. Learning three time about pizzas. Three time pizza. Can we request what time we want the pizza to say? I I ask inventor. I pray so. I pray to Timos himself. <laughs> Timos? A, is there a god of time named Timos? <laughs> Indeed, there is, my old friend. Oh, my God. Well, look, I, I want mine to say 420. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. yes. It sounds young and cool, and I'm happy to do it. Okay, we'll be what happy. About, what about you guys? Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, uh, 1620. I'm gonna go military, oh, military time, time, but it's still oh, 420. It's a little very wink. Very cool, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very cool, yeah. 
I want the very stroke of midnight. Oh, the Please? witching hour. Uh, yeah, I'll be, no problem. The beginning no problem. of it. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly. Um, and then do you want anything on your goose liver pate or just want the best goose liver pate that's ever been made? I want 304 on my goose liver pate. <laughs> Three, D-I-G, four, T-H-I-S. <laughs> we'll be not sure. <laughs> we'll be not sure, but we'll do best. And no I'd problem. like a pate Hurst. Oh, uh, she will love that. She will love that. Oh, she, she, I will tell Patty. her next time. Next time. Well, I mean, I'm her friend. I'll, okay. I'll well, say, sounds yeah, like we. Yeah, both I mean, what does she her, think so. of me? Not competition. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna change my time on my time piece. <gasps> yeah, no problem for movie star. I'm gonna make it one eight seven for my friend because I've decided I'll kill Judge Ryan. <laughs> yeah. What? One eight seven. I don't Judge think one eight seven's a time. Uh, I'm, I'm double checking, but I agree. <laughs> <laughs> but still, this is big news. I don't mean to, to you know. I just feel like I, you're, you're in a tough spot, and he tough. hasn't. He, he's not. You know, he was more of a not a '90s guy, but an '80s guy, and yeah, uh, no, he, he just has no use 90s. anymore. He got to live the '80s. Yeah, and he couldn't even get arrested now. So did you, mm. Scott? <laughs> Oh my God, Wolfgang! You've already made the pate. <laughs> oh yes, but dig in, dig in, pate, pate. Well, this is really Cleotis's yes. show. You're gonna have yeah. some of this too, Scotty. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty D. Ackerman loves goose liver pate. And these are from my finest Austrian geese, by the way. Oh really? Okay. Mm. Well, let's uh, let's have a little bit of this. Yeah, Rich, do you have to kill the goose, or do you just surgically remove the liver? Uh, yeah, surgery. Yeah, long oh. surgery. <laughs> long, long. So is it recovering right now? Yeah, in little hospital bed yeah oh. recovering they're yeah. fine that's nice. okay that's don't need it know. for the yeah. bodies all right hmm. well, this is it's, it's what do you it's think got, it's got like an aftertaste to it doesn't it i mm-hmm. mean yeah kind of tastes a little like that uh, that car air freshener yeah a little bit tastes yeah. like a, yeah like pine mm-hmm. oh yeah from of? oh yeah okay i see yeah from yeah. okay yeah from being in car perhaps it's, it tastes like trunk food <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. it just does it yeah. tastes just like it came out of a should have left ac on i feel you know ac crowley yeah exactly <laughs> He's riding with you? Absolutely. You don't know who that is. I'm sure. <laughs> if only, you don't know who OG is. Only AC I know is <laughs> Al Cowlings. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, this yeah, came he, up on a different show. Alistair Crowley, Crowley the guy that, as a guy. <laughs> right. Okay. This came up on a totally different episode, I think. <laughs> yeah, me and AC drive around and uh, yeah, should have left AC on. Sorry for uh, car funk on the pate. I'm okay with car funk. You're yeah, okay. Yeah, he's mind. okay with car funk. What do you think mm. of your time? Uh, wait, the time pizzas. And ding. Oh, oh okay. Ooh. Let me run down. And here, oh, here, guys. Okay. Oh, my God. 420. There it There's is. High five, everyone. High five. Wow, look at it. There is a time 187. Yeah, it works. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't realize. But now that I see it in front of me, <laughs> there is. Yeah. This is opening my eyes to the fact that we just, we skip over all those minutes. Yes. Mm. Let's. <gasps> Wow. We, we should be living during them. We would get to live so many extra years. Oh. This reminds me of a heist. <gasps> oh, my God. Minute by minute, the Doobie Brothers are going to be in concert post COVID. <laughs> we go there. They actually, join are, I think. The, yeah. What about me and you, Scotty? We go join the band. Unfortunately, I feel like this is getting into Dalton Wilcox uh, territory <laughs> with uh, substituting the Doobie Brothers He's for Sean. He's not going to know who that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just tell me which Doobie Brother I have to kill, and I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to murder everyone now. Skylock, the bass player. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. This oh, is good. Oh, okay. And yeah, moving it up to the hood, I think, uh, yeah. It oh, made cute. Difference. Great. Well, yeah. you gave me great notes, so yeah, happy to. Yeah. Happy this is really good. This is, yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, the goat cheese is good, yeah. Yeah, and it still tastes car. It tastes trunk ish, but it's yeah. still sure. pretty good, yeah. <laughs> it does seem so cute, a goat milking a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no, timekeeper. No, time I bring keeper. you to Wolfie's farm so you understand better. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think you. this is a much better situation for you to go over to Wolfie's farm. Yeah. No, you know? I need to crisscross the country you, like a modern day Johnny Apple watch. <laughs> you yeah. said that before. By the way, yeah. you don't and, even know who crisscross is. Yeah. No. But they the 90s pants are back. backwards. <laughs> the 90s, the uh, 90s are back. No one's wearing their pants backwards. Well, they might thing. very soon, though. You I never know. know. Bring back 1981. Mm, so <laughs> yeah. you can get vengeance? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Scotty D. No, look, come on. Let's let bygones be bygones. You know what I mean? I mean, I barely know you. No bygones be bygones. I'm surprised by, I even knew your stays, name. By stays, by stays. <laughs> mm-hmm. that's, that's true. That is a good point. By stays, by stays. <laughs> well, look, I... I 
I think we should let bygones be bygones. I think you should go over to Wolfie's Farm. Yeah, and well. Mitch, I mean, you're obviously doing everything right. You're a big movie star. Yep. Uh, off to kill Judge Reinhold. Off to kill Judge Reinhold. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, when you're a movie star, you know, like you they'll just... You get away with you those get away with things. They'll let you yeah. out, of, out of jail if you're a big you star. You get primo table at Spago after, no problem. Yes, thank you. There's yeah. there's no bad publicity, as they say. No. So right. this could be good for me. Yeah. Great, wonderful. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we've, we've all decided what we're going to do. Uh, that's wonderful. We only have one final feature, in fact, on the show. There's a, it's a little something that we like to call plugs. Hashtag spoilers or not. I don't want to know the plug or the title of your podcast slash TV show. We've got a lot of content to get to. I know. Oh. That was hashtag spoilers by Justin Fritz. Justin Fritz, you don't even, I mean, that must sound like a foreign language to you, music like that. I mean, <laughs> well, Justin Fritz, gobble, gobble, gobble. gobble. <laughs> no, I don't mean the name. I mean, the, the actual style of I've music. I've heard a name like that. <laughs> <laughs> he says name heard a Jack. new name since 1981. <laughs> <laughs> Fritz Coleman was a weather person Fritz back Coleman, then. Yeah, yeah, and also, he's been out seven months. <laughs> a couple of years before he started. Fritz Coleman, 1983. Your friend's name is Jetski, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's one name. <laughs> All right. So wait, you have, you want to hear every single name? And if you haven't heard the name before, <laughs> it's really Fritz. You out. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. What are we plugging? Uh, Mitch, obviously, Tomorrow War Tomorrow is War out. Is out now. Yeah. Uh, you, you can uh, you can catch it on Amazon Prime Video, and then uh, I'm, I, I do the podcast Doughboys, and we have a, a Patreon, the Doughboys Double. You can sign up for that on Patreon.com/slash/Doughboys, and uh, yeah, give it a listen and watch. The movie on uh, Amazon. If you if you get the if you get the packages, you get the movie. So check it out. Yeah. What do you mean if you get the packages? If you get if you get the packages, it's a uh, oh like oh a, the, that they deliver. I yeah, thought yeah, you were yeah, talking yeah. about your package. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> if you get the packages, you get the. movie. It sounded like a line from Goodfellas, so yeah. I apologize for that. Uh, but no, if you, if if you're if you're you a prime member, Goodfellas, like a reboot. I think yeah. they should Better reboot. Fellas. I, I think they should reboot it. I yeah, think, you never got to see Goodfellas. Never got to see Goodfellas. Only a bunch of bad fellas in prison. <laughs> yeah, you did get to see Raging Bull though. Yeah. <laughs> Raging Bull. Yes, I got to see 1980, best picture. I would love to perform it. was it. not the best picture. Ordinary people little? beat it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My well, movie knowledge has been put to the test. <laughs> you have none. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to perform it on a sheet for you, though, if you're... If you're yes, oh, perform yeah. it in front of a sheet. Yeah. This is fun. Uh, Cleotis, what do you want to plug here? Uh, listen to Doughboys <laughs> and uh, okay. watch... Tomorrow War. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can also listen to the flagrant ones on Patreon and uh, Carl Calls His Cousin. Yeah, and those are at uh, Patreon. Patreon.com slash the flagrant ones. The flagrant ones. Wonderful. Okay, and Maxwell Keeper, what do you want to plug? I want to plug the Tomorrow War since I served as a consultant yes, to right. one of the actors who mm-hmm. called me every day. Thank in you for tears, your service. Tears yeah. frequently. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and Loki, which obviously, uh, by my efforts to put time into the mm-hmm. the ether sphere, it's come to pass now that all these shows And then No Time to Die as well. No Time yeah. to Die. I mean, you, what's wonderful about No Time to Die being delayed is it's so much time that it's been delayed. Indeed, indeed. I, it's been both a curse and a blessing. Yeah. But, uh, I'll just be traveling the country. It's been fun no, being you'll on be, here. No, to promote, you'll be down no, at Wolfie's no. Farm. Yeah, you must. Start, no, I'll be across the country. You know, every time you farm. look into the eyes of a child, and it, you I'm you not s- doing that, saying, that much, honestly. Nay, nay. <laughs> the time, I must know it now. <laughs> You're looking into the, <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> what? <laughs> nay, nay, you must see horses at farm. Yeah, you gotta go to Wolfie's. Speaking of Wolfie's farm, what do you want to plug here, Wolfie? Oh, yeah, obviously the the hits, Spago, uh, Wolfgang Express, Soup, sure. all that. Mm. Uh, did you, did you, California Pizza Kitchen, did you do that? Possibly. I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very likely. Possibly. <laughs> yeah. You know, been, been at it a long time. Uh, also, uh, very excited about upcoming pop culture podcast. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, Patreon uh, with uh, Jessica Jarden and Marcy Jaro called uh, L is for Losers. Uh, we'll be starting. Hell is for Losers? L, L, let's L. Oh, L. L, 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 L is for I l- couldn't quite tell with your dialect. Yeah, I think Austria. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but L is for Losers. L is for Losers. And that's yeah. how 
out now or is that August? August. Oh, oh really? It's very exciting. Oh, so the countdown it. starts now. Yeah, well, but you can yeah. sign up. Yeah. Timekeeper got very excited. Yeah. I'm sorry, Johnny Apple Watch. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I do agree that hell is for losers. Hell so is I for losers. Yeah. That. It truly is. I hope that Hitler's down there. Man, yeah, the me ultimate too. loser. Oh, so lame. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, speaking of podcasts, I want to uh, talk about my other podcast. That's Freedom, which is out on Thursdays. That is Paul F. Tompkins and Lauren Lapkus. Uh, and the three of us just sitting around and talking and playing games. And uh, very popular segment on that show, Lauren's Topics, where she she dropped a big uh, uh, topic a few weeks back. So uh, listen to that show to hear about it. And uh, all right, let's close up the old plug bag. <laughs> When you see yourself living in a shotgun shop, then you find that you're in another part of the world. <laughs> you think you're behind the wheel of a large <laughs> automobile, then you find that you're in a beautiful bag <laughs> with a beautiful dog. <laughs> and you may ask yourself, well, how did I get up in there? <laughs> oh, Don't mess up how it is. 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 Open that shit. Oh, wow. That was Plug in a Lifetime by Joe Salinas. Thank you so much. That was incredible. Uh, guys, I want to thank you so much. Uh, first of all, Mitch, thanks for coming on the show. Thank Great to see me. you uh, for the first time since uh, we were in Boston. I and uh, Yeah, that's, since that show. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, but uh, good luck with the movie. Let me know uh, Let me know the streaming numbers as they come in. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm talking to Bezos. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to report them to you immediately. And, uh, and Timekeeper, I think there will be some nice numbers when I hear them. Well, you don't like just numbers. No, you've <laughs> lost your mind. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Money numbers, <laughs> viewing numbers. I care not for such things. Oh, oh my gosh. Pissed off. <laughs> God, I've never seen him like this. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, and Wolfgang, great to see you. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll talk after the show if the 90s are back or not. Yeah, not I'll quite keep sure. But yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. see. And Cleotis. I'll be seeing you, Scotty D. I hope not, but, uh, you know, Mitch over here is going to help you out with Judge Reinhold. Yeah. So, hey, Don't Judge Reinhold, Reinhold, you're on notice if you're listening. I got a lot more things to deal with with you, Scotty D. What's that? Other things. <laughs> I do remember I do remember that song, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, Once in a Lifetime? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, from 1979. 81. Okay. Yeah, maybe 81. Yeah, you're right. Okay, great. Did you look that up while it was playing? <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>